wakiwa wamevalia mavazi ya samawati kuashiria rangi ya chama cha Democratic Alliance mamia ya uandamanaji walifurika mitaa ya miji tofauti ya Afrika Kusini wakipinga kukatika kwa umeme nchini humo Mjini Johannesburg takriban wafuasi tatu wa Democratic Alliance wakiongozwa na mwenyekiti wao waliandamana wakielekea katika makao makuu ya chama tawala cha ANC na kuilaumu chama hiyo ambayo imekuwa mamlakani kwa mwongo mmoja sasa. <tos> Afrika Kusini imegubikwa na tatizo la nishati kwa zaidi ya muongo mmoja lakini tatizo hilo limeongezeka zaidi mwaka huu ambako taifa hilo limekuwa likikabiliwa na ukosefu wa umeme kila siku sasa mwenyekiti wa Democratic Alliance Ivan Amea akisema hali hiyo inaendelea kuzorotesha uchumi wa taifa hilo linaloendelea barani Afrika. Load shedding is now costing the country 4 billion rand a day. More people go into unemployment. More poverty. The ANC is the cause of the poverty and the low trading. Lakini katika makao makuu ya ANC, maafisa wa usalama na baadhi ya wafuasi wa chama hicho walikuweko wakipinga maandamano hayo. Um the low trading it affects us all. I believe it's it's very bad and it also affects the economy of South Africa. Now as the leading party the ANC cannot put itself on that because we we always we know it. Um always ANC gets to blame for everything that is even that it's not upon their purpose. If you have a problem about governance you go to government buildings you you lay out your complaint and for future preference next time GA they must understand something. If you want to fix a problem you don't automatically attack the problem. There's an issue that caused that problem. So you must start by fixing the issue so that the problem may not occur again. Shirika la umeme la serikali lenye madeni chungu nzima linakabiliwa na mitambo ya makaa na mawe iliyochakaa na ambayo inaweza kuharibika wakati wowote lakini rushwa na hujma pia zimetajwa kama sababu zinazo dhoofisha shirika hilo kwa kiwango kikubwa The solution is a hydro power plant which is a large scale energy power plant built next to the ocean that uses seawater as a fuel source so we use the fuel the sea, the sea water generate electricity and release the water back into the ocean uncontaminated I really hope that the message across the country today is that this price increase is unacceptable unaffordable unfair uh, that it should be seriously reconsidered and actually rejected and that uh, the government's got to get its head out the sand and start properly uh, dealing with the energy crisis Mapema wiki hii Rais Siri Ramaphosa alisema serikali inaangalia swala la kuingiza umeme kutoka mataifa ya nje lakini akaonya kuwa tatizo hilo aliwezi kushughulikiwa kwa siku moja Victor Wanaswa Mwanzo TV <tos> Kwa